Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight we are doing a late night after dark, very after dark cleaning. It's actually the very last night of summer here. So the boys are going back to school tomorrow morning and I didn't want to take any of the weekend <laughs> worrying about the house, doing all of our normal routines. I just wanted to soak up as much summer as we could together before school and all the sports and all the things start up again so we did exactly that in my house <laughs> definitely shows it definitely looks like it but we have no regrets so tonight i am going to stay up a little bit late and just tidy everything up i have a few more things to do just to help like kind of prepare for school in the morning and i'm just going to kind of take this as some me time tonight to enjoy the quiet peaceful house because it is not like this often but we do have a lot to get done and i do want to get a few hours of sleep <laughs> before we get into the school year so let's go ahead and get this house nice and put away for the night I have been doing after dark cleanings for years, like ever since our boys were very, very little. This is just the time of day where the house is very quiet. This is just, you know, kind of my routine. I like to clean up, set up for tomorrow, really close up the home. And I really feel like this is my most important cleaning routine because it just sets my day up for success the following day. And the amount of time that I spend doing this at night, it would have set me back a lot longer during the daytime. Just because also waking up to a clean home really kind of helps you set yourself up well mentally the next day. So I just love having a nighttime cleaning routine. Something a little bit funny about us, we don't always close our blinds in the main rooms mostly because we don't have neighbors behind us to kind of see in. And so we don't feel like we need to have that extra privacy all the time. However, when I do a more full night tidy, like tonight, I'm doing a little bit extra in preparing for the boys' school in the morning. And so on those nights, I will tend to close the blinds just because it kind of creates a little bit more intimate vibe in here. But on any given night, I will usually like to clean up the living room and the kitchen. And it kind of varies each night. Like sometimes Kyle and I do this together. Sometimes we do this as a family. Sometimes Kyle will just do it while I'm laying with the boys. Sometimes just I'll do it like on this evening. But very rarely will we leave it a complete mess. It does happen, but it's not often. Before we get too far into my nighttime cleaning routine, I wanted to say a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I first started using BetterHelp back in 2021, and the first time I had therapy through them was when I was dealing with depression on and off. And then this last year, they helped me find better ways to cope with my dad passing away unexpectedly. I cannot tell you how beneficial they have been for me in those really, really hard times, and I will forever be grateful to my amazing therapist. To share a little bit about BetterHelp. They are a platform that makes finding a therapist really easy and not stressful because it's all done online. I am the absolute worst when it comes to making appointments because I get nervous and BetterHelp felt so peaceful to me because you start simply by filling out a few questions and then they match you to a professional therapist and the therapy sessions can be done however you feel comfortable. You can choose video calls, phone calls, or messages or choose a mixture. I always opt for the video calls because I feel I'm able to connect best that way. Then I'll send messages throughout the week if needed. I really think that therapy can be so beneficial for just about anyone. And to make it even easier, BetterHelp is giving you guys 10% off your first month of therapy just by going to betterhelp.com slash thiscrazylife or by clicking the link in my description box below. And if you are facing some struggles, just know that I'm sending you a lot of love right now. Thank you. 
I am sharing this as a reminder that when you are looking at something at a distance, you cannot clearly see the imperfections. Now, I challenge you, if you go back in this video, just a couple minutes, I bet that when you look at the coffee table as I'm sharing the clean room, you will not be able to tell that the coffee table was very dirty and very sticky. However, when you look up closely, you can absolutely tell and absolutely see all that mess. And I feel like I share this all the time because it's just such a good reminder to keep in mind, not just about a clean house, obviously, but just kind of with everything in life. When you look at a distance, you're not gonna see how things truly are. I personally love the calm of night. I feel like it's so peaceful, so soothing, and really just kind of therapeutic for me. And over the past several years, since having my Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disorder that affects my thyroid, I have dealt with insomnia a lot on and off and it's been a struggle it actually got better for quite a while and then the last couple of weeks it's kind of been kicking up again but sometimes i just get energy to do you know weird things at night that most people are like i'm too tired to do that at night for me i'm like very tired in the morning and in the evening is when i get my boost of energy so a lot of times i'll stay up late and do random things and do work or cleaning or i might do extra random things like restocking our pantry items <laughs> Hand washing is something that's kind of interesting to me because I wouldn't necessarily say I enjoy hand washing. Like I don't mind doing dishes, I guess, because you can kind of zone out a little bit during this process. But I typically am like, I'm gonna get this done quickly. I'm gonna put it in my dishwasher. I'm gonna let that do the work. However, when I hand wash dishes, especially when it's in the evening and it's just kind of calm around me, it always makes me think of my mom because I remember growing up just like hand washing dishes with her. And even as an adult, every time I go to her house, 
She has a dishwasher, but they have really hard water, so I feel like half the time it doesn't work really well. And so over the years, they had just kind of gotten in the habit of hand washing a lot of their dishes. Whenever I would go stay with them, I'd like to clean the house and kind of help her out. And with that, I will, you know, stay up late. I might do her dishes, whatever. And so it always just reminds me of either hand washing dishes with my mom or hand washing dishes for my mom. And you know, little things like that I feel can bring us a lot of joy even when we're doing things we don't necessarily love to do. When you can think of something that makes you happy while you're doing it, it will just give you that much more enjoyment. Eleven, eleven in this video and all is well. That's what my mom always said growing up and to this day I say it now too. It's funny because I don't think Kyle really heard that and so I know the first times that I would say that he was like, what? What are you talking about? 1111 all as well. But now he's heard it so many times that he'll just randomly say it to me when he sees the clocks as 1111. And it's kind of ridiculous the amount of screenshots that I have saved on my phone or when the clock says 1111, but it's just one of those little things in life. Again, like you gotta find joy in those small little things and the small little moments. And that's something that one, just reminds me of my mom and two, just makes me happy because that was always a positive thing growing up that she would say. Also, side note, I did wanna ask, are you guys enjoying the touches of real life sounds like the ASMR style? To me, it is so calming and I just love it, but I would love to hear if you like that, if you're not a fan, if you like a mix, kind of what you're enjoying. And here we are with another set of real life moments. This is just another little case to show that you cannot judge your up close view to someone else's life at a distance because it's just not the same perspective. And the same goes for them, honestly. Their up close view could not measure up to your life from a distance. There have been so many times, especially in my adult life, that I have felt this and that it's kind of given me comfort in knowing that because there are a lot of times I look around and I'm like, how do these people have their lives together? together and you know my life is chaotic and my life is you know I'm always working on things and I can never seem to get it right it's funny because people will say the same thing to me and I'm like what in the world are you talking about like my life is put together or my life you know like it's not at all that way and I've just kind of learned that when you see someone's life from the outside from that distance it looks so wonderful and it looks so peaceful and put together and it's just really not that way to the person inside of it. And this is kind of a little bit off topic, but it applies, trust me. 
It reminds me of that Britney Spears song, Lucky. If you guys are Britney Spears fans or if you, you know, have heard that song, then you know what I'm talking about. But in that song, it says that everyone thinks she's so lucky that she lives this amazing life, but actually she is sad and she cries at night. And it just kind of makes me feel like that is just how life is. You know, it can look perfect and amazing from the outside to somebody else. But when you are living it, you see all those imperfections and you see all those struggles. And so I would just remind you, don't compare your life to someone else's because you are not going to be seeing the entire story. And I'm sure that if you actually walked a day in their shoes, you would see the struggles they face and you would see the chaos that they feel. And just give yourself grace. Know that we are all doing the best we can. We are all making our lives the best we can. And we have so much to be grateful for. Just know that you are doing amazing and we are all a lot more alike than we realize. So first, I just went ahead and put away my bloom towels. You guys know I love bloom towels so much. They are double-sided, which is awesome. They have the cutest prints. They're really, really absorbent and a really good size as well. And they have that little hook, so if you want to hang them on a hook in your kitchen or on your dishwasher, you can totally do that. But I do have a code for you guys, and the code is just Amanda. So if you head to their website, you can use that code and save some money. And I also have the link down in the description box, but you guys will love them. Next, I just took a little time to fill up the boys' water bottles, and I wanted to do this the night before school just to make the morning go a little bit smoother. I'm actually a bit of a procrastinator, so I'm not the absolute best at making the best decision prior to and making life easier on myself. However, sometimes I get it right, and I'm actually thinking that I might end up starting to prep out their lunches a bit the night before because already the first few days of school, the mornings have been very busy, and I just think that's going to end up making a big difference in making sure that the boys have really nice lunches to take to school with them, and our mornings can be a little bit more peaceful because I do think that's going to make a big difference in their day, especially going throughout school, is kind of doing my best to make sure that the mornings are really nice and calm for them. So I don't know if this is common anymore, but growing up, we always had lockers, especially when you got into like the middle school grades, like sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, like you had your own locker, but Luke did not have a locker last year in sixth grade, and they're not getting lockers again this year in seventh grade, which is hard because he is at the grades where he has like different periods and he kind of goes from one classroom to the next. And without lockers, that means he actually has to carry all of his pencils and his notebooks and things like that with him. And the reason they say they're not doing lockers is because most of the schoolwork is actually on like a Chromebook, so they don't have a ton of textbooks to carry along with them. However, they do have all of their notebooks and, you know, things like that. So I'm just kind of going through <laughs> and trying to organize his backpack as best I can to make it as easy and as light for him as possible. I'm like a little bit frustrated for him. I just wish that they would give him a locker so that he could actually not have to carry everything with him all day long. One of the last things I wanted to do before finally getting some sleep this night was to go ahead and fold up the boys' laundry, or not exactly fold, we kind of do like the no fold method. I pretty much just fold things in half, but I don't like really nicely fold their clothes because 
Typically, the boys are responsible to put away their clothes. This works really great for our family. It saves a lot of time and they really don't get too wrinkled or anything like that. Now, I mean, talk about waiting until last minute to get all of their clothes washed and put away you know, the night before school, like hours before they go to school. But we actually didn't do back to school clothes shopping this year. I'm just going to kind of get them as they're needed. But with that, I did want to make sure that they have all of their clothes cleaned and ready for them so that they can pick whatever they wanted to wear for their first day of school. But I was totally laughing whenever I was sorting through Noah's clothes because Luke and Liam were having, you know, shorts and t-shirts, which totally makes sense because it's been like 115 degrees here in Arizona. And Noah's bath basket had pants, jackets, long sleeve shirts, a few shorts, you know, put in, but he just tries to wear like layers and tries to dress really cool, which is the cutest thing. But it got to the point where we were like, no, you have to go change because it's literally dangerous to be dressed in a jacket and long pants when it's 115 degrees if you're going outside today. <laughs> so anyway, it just had me giggling a little bit. Finally, it is time to officially close down the house for the night and the final step is just going through and turning off all the lights and it is just so peaceful feeling how clean and organized like the main spaces are and all the things that I wanted to get done, I was able to. I really hope that this was not only motivating for you, but also really calming and peaceful for you. I feel like that is so important in the chaos of nowadays. I also wanted to remind you to check out BetterHelp. I can tell you they have been so helpful to me and I know that they can help you as well. So I will have that link down in the description box below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will meet you guys right back here on Thursday because we are going through and decluttering and organizing all around the house and getting a lot done. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that one. I hope you have an incredible day and I can't wait to chat with you in the comments. Bye guys. Oh, it's a turn off cabinet lights. <laughs>